guy. He, he's just, he's one of the few handful of guys that just got it. You know, he understood what selling was. He understood what a baby face was. He understood, you know, what heat was and, and just seamlessly worked those together. And to, to see him, you know, what a profound impact he had on me and, and, and the franchise character that would come later. Uh, because I would watch him when we were working with, say, like Brian and Steve, for instance. He would get a cup of coffee, put a chew in, and then he'd go off and just wander, mosey around the dressing room in the back stage area and, you know, not talking to anybody, just sort of walking around and you could see the wheels turning. And after, I don't know, 30, 40, 45 minutes, he'd come and say, yeah, I got it. He'd bring us and sit us down and he would lay out every night, lay out a different idea. It wasn't like we did the same match night tomorrow the next night it was uh something different every night with uh, with the dragon and you know he just uh, he 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 it was almost like a science to him and and that bled off you know like uh and i reiterate you know tons of what i would tell i do a seminar talk to young kids uh give kids feedback on their matches a, a great quantity of what i'm telling them comes directly through me from ricky steamboat uh, and, you know, one of the things about Ricky that was, you know, just he drilled home on a nightly basis was that the segues, you know, everybody that's ever graduated from a wrestling school knows how to do a spot. Uh, they know how to do the moves, hopefully. Um, but what separates that great big set of moves or spot that you just did and then the next great big spot set of moves that you're going to do in a few minutes how do you connect those two? And, you know, if it doesn't make sense, then, you know, all you're doing, you're just pissing in the wind. You're just going out and doing a, an acrobatics display. You're just going out and, and displaying moves. And uh, wrestling, with all due respect to everybody listening, whether they like it or not, wrestling is not just a whole lot of moves. It's, it's a story being told. It's doing those moves and going in and out of the heat, uh, selling for the baby face in and out of that heat, uh, getting the heat for the heel. And then how do you get from that first set of moves to the second set of moves? It's not just, okay, well, let's just sit there and stick our thumbs up our asses and now, okay, you rest it up. Okay, you ready for that next big set of moves? Uh, you've got to make that uh, spot A segue into spot B seamlessly and making sense, telling that story, segue into spot three, spot four, spot five, however many spots there's going to be in that particular match. Uh, but it's not just, let's go out and regurgitate every move we know. And when we get tired or run out, we'll just start over at the beginning again. Uh, you know, it's uh, that all comes from Steamboat. He, he genuinely made it into a science and one that was easily digestible. You know, so once you knew how to do the moves, if you follow the Steamboat model, the Steamboat method, you were pretty likely to get over, uh, you know, whether it was a heel or baby face, it was telling that story and that, you know, Steamboat was a master at teaching that and obviously a master in the ring. 